profit and loss in Bioflog system. Profitability in Bioflog project. Profitability will depend on your number of harvests you can take in a year per tank. Profitability will depend on how much biomass or total harvest you can produce in a tank. Higher density with lower mortality. Profitability will depend on how efficient FCR food conversion ratio you have maintained. Profit profitability will depend on your targeted wholesale price you want during the harvest time. Profitability will also depend on number of tanks or number of higher water tank capacity harvested as such business is all about economy of scale. Profitability will depend if you are able to sell your whole harvest easily in local or international markets. Let's take an example of 10,000 liter tank with one harvest of 500 kg biomass. To understand more clearly, expenses and sales are divided into five heads. A. Tank setup expenses. B. Recording expenses, that's the maintenance cost. C. Fish seed and feeding expenses. D. Harvest and sale. E. Profit of fish seed T minus E. Total profit in Bioflow project T minus P. Let's work out 10,000 liter profit and loss in number of tanks. One, if you're installing two tanks, and if you're installing five tanks and ten tanks. Let's simulate this. Tank setup expenses. To set up one 10,000 liter of tank A to Z from your uh, from your tarpaulin to the machineries to the backup systems, everything. Roughly, it will cost you approximate 55,000 rupees. Plus minus will be like 5% or 10% here and there, not beyond that. This is, it is actually taken on a little bit on the higher side. If you set up a tank, two tanks, it will cost you approximately 65,000. And if you want to set up five tanks, it will cost you 145,000. And if you want to set up 10 tanks, roughly it will approximately cost you 2,80,000. So recurring expenses and maintenance costs. What does it mean? The maintenance cost is like running the expenses or maintaining those tanks. How much it will cost? It includes your rent, labor, your medicines, your uh, you know other uh, carbon source your CaCO3 it's everything it's uh, whatever is required for maintaining the tanks so for one tank approximately it will cost you 62,000 and for tank maintaining two tanks it is just 65,000 and for five tanks it is also not much it's 68,000 and for the tank 10 tanks roughly it will be 80,000 Fish seed and feeding expenses. This is based upon taking into consideration of a density of fish of 1200 fishes into the tank with the 20% of mortality into taking into the consideration. So, fish feed and uh, seed and feeding costs will, will for the maintaining of a one tank it will be 20,800. For two tanks it will be 41,600. And for the five tanks it will be one lakh four thousand and for ten tanks it will be approximately two lakhs eight thousand harvesting and sales per tank this is considering into only the only one harvest so from the one harvest you can get a sale of seventy thousand rupees and in the two tanks you'll get approximately double of that one lakh forty thousand in the tank 5, if you have a 5 tanks, it will be 3,50,000 and when you have 10 tanks, it will be approximately 7 lakh rupees of sales 
you will be getting from your tank. Profit from first sales. So how do you get the profits? It's the D minus C. It is your feed, feed uh, and seed and feed expenses minus your uh, sales. So you get your profit. So when you have a one tank, you are earning actually a profit of only forty nine thousand two hundred. And in the two tanks, you are earning only ninety eight thousand five hundred. When you have a five tanks, you are earning two lakhs forty six thousand. And when you have ten tanks, you are earning only four lakhs ninety two thousand. So, total profit in Bioflow project. So, how you get here now? The total profit from your Bioflow project is. E minus B so basically if you see if you set up one tank actually you are in a negative of 12,800 rupees and if you have two tanks you are just earning 33,400 and if you have a five tanks you are earning 1,78,000 only and when you have 10 tanks you are earning 4,12,000 rupees so expected monthly income during the harvest period this is considering the six months of uh, harvesting period so actually when you maintain one tank you are making a negative income of 2133 and if you have a two tank you're just earning peanuts 5567 but when you have a five tanks you are at least able to get a decent earning of 29,600 but when you have a 10 tanks it is 68,667 rupees so how now you need to check what are the minimum funds required to start a bioflux uh, system uh, project so in the tank one to maintain a tank one it is the a plus b plus c those are the expenses for that you need to have money so for one tank you need to have at least 1,37,800 in your hand and if you have two tanks you need to have at least 1,71,600 and if it's five tanks you need to have at least 3,17,000 and if it's a 10 tank you need at least 5,68,000 rupees in your hand to start the project. Note single tank size of 10,000 liter is not profitable at all with one harvest of 5 kg 500 kg biomass single 10,000 liter tank is good to use as a starter or learning tank don't expect any profit out of it until unless you get 1,000 kg biomass in single harvest and which is difficult Therefore, it is suggested to go for a minimum 10,000 liters into 5 tanks or higher wire water capacity tank of 25,000 liters into 2 tanks. Cost of ha for handling one tank or multiple tank is almost the same. Therefore, before investing in Bioflock system, make your project report after understanding the pros and cons of the Bioflock system. Mm -hmm.